Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Rum Builder episode about the rally car. Uh, if you are just tuning in for the first time, this is my $1,000 Mustang GT that I purchased with a bad transmission, no power steering, and I've been converting it over and making it into a poor man's rally car. I've had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys stay tuned, join in, and before I get started, make sure if you like what you're seeing, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and do the little notification thing so that you can see when I make new content. Let's get to work. just to catch you up on this. This car saw a very, very rough life before I got my hands on it, and I'm not slowing down on, on really treating it like crap. But I am keeping safety in mind and longevity. One thing we're going to do is actually we're going to get rid of the hood latch because if there's an accident, there's an engine fire, or something goes just genuinely wrong, and I can't operate the hood latch inside the car for some reason. Hood pins will make it to where somebody else can just run up and pull the pins, flip the hood up, hit the fire extinguisher, and kind of save my bacon if I'm incapacitated. Incapacitated. I'm incapacitated. Also, you know, takes a little bit of weight off, get some cables out of the way. It's going to be cool. And hood pins look like a race car, so, you know, eh, we'll, we're going to do it. Figure out where I want these hood pins to go. Ooh, wow, this thing's even loose in here so the uh, latches weren't even attached really I mean this is finger tight so that's exciting let's go get that off it's the fun part about taking a car apart and things aren't gonna go back is you don't gotta worry about pesky things taking things apart the right way I don't know if you can tell, but this hood has definitely been opened up at the high speed at some point. It got cracks all over it, so but we're not hurting anything that's worth keeping. Well, be that fits. Here's something fun. We need to figure out where to put a hole. Uh, when you're shutting the hood or something. You take a little bit of grease and put it on the end. And then you just shut your hood. And then that's just going to leave you with a grease spot exactly where you're going to need to drill. Now if there's an incident, we've got to get in the hood quick, it's that easy. Awesome. One thing that's kind of concerned me about the uh, longevity of the car is we're doing a lot of high RPM, low speed, so we're not getting as much airflow as I'd like. A lot of guys you'll see in the pits, uh, in between runs, they have their hood up. Yeah, we can do that, but we know what else we can do? We can add a little GT500 to the car. 
What you're looking at here is a brand new GT500 heat extractor off a uh, S197 car, 2010-2012 GT500. And this is, you can see, you can actually see through this. This is going to pull the heat from the radiator, out of the radiator, out of the car. So all I have to do now is put more holes in the hood. Yay. We figure out where we actually want this thing. I think that looks good there. Then I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm going to measure. There's no going back now. Let's see if this fits or if I just ruin my hood. As much as I like having the fresh air and the rain and you know dirt and stuff in the car, I really don't actually like it. So we're gonna make something here.
that's it for today. As you can see, the sun's going down, and I uh, had a, a relatively stress-free day working on the car. Got the holes from the mirror patched up. Got the hood pins on. Got the got the heat extractor on. I mean, can't ask for a better day off, right? Just play with your toys, have fun, and you know, get your race car ready. The next time you see me is going to be in Oklahoma racing again. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing some actual racing action next time. So until then, get out there and build something yourself. Don't let me be the only one having fun. Later.